Hey guys, it's Carter. Today we're gonna be going out to Crowder's Mountain to do some rock climbing. But uh, right now it's really cold, so we're kinda just waiting to see what we're gonna do. It's actually snowing out there right now. So I guess I'll check back in with you when we decide what we're gonna do. Alright guys, so right now, it's 8.56 in the morning, and where we're going, it's 33 degrees outside. Alright guys, we're about to head out to Crowder's Mountain, I'm standing outside now. It's a little bit cold, but it's nice and sunny, so hopefully it's going to warm up a little bit and it'll be good for climbing, so I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, we made it here. We're gonna walk in now. It's pretty, is it cold, Nora? What was that? Yeah. Yeah, it's cold? Yeah. All right, so it's like 38 degrees. Primary concerns for this trip are that it just rained like two days, actually it rained yesterday, but it just for a few minutes rained. So hopefully the boulders are dry. But if I, they aren't good conditions for climbing, I'm also just gonna try to take some pictures of some of the rocks and different routes and things to post on Mountain Project. So if you wanna come climb at the same place that we're at, I'm gonna put the link to Mountain Project in the description of the video. The place is called Dixon School Road Boulders. All right, we're starting to make our way into the boulder field right now, but we still have probably about a half a mile until we get to the rock I'm actually trying to get to. Things don't look too bad right now as far as the ground seems pretty dry, but it's still so cold. Like my hand is freezing just holding up the camera right now. So I'll update you guys when we get back there. Okay guys, so we're not quite there yet, but we're getting pretty close. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update as far as how to get there if you wanted to come climb this yourself. Right behind me, this is the egg boulder. So if you've come to Dixon before, you know where this is more than likely. It has a couple problems starting with V7 on the left side. There's a four right here that goes straight up the face. And there's a few more on the back side. So, once you get to the egg, you basically just keep continuing down this trail right here. And then I'll update you again in a second on some landmarks that you'll see right before you get to the boulder. Okay, so as you keep coming down the trail, you'll get to this point right here where there's like a big overhanging kind of like almost 45 degree wall and then a little block. This is a pretty fun like warm up boulder if you wanna try it. And then right here, it starts to go downhill. And this is when you're starting to get into more of the patio area. This big stack right here is what I like to call, I guess, the patio boulders, just because you have this big flat one on the bottom, which is where you can stand on to do the problem I'm gonna be trying today. It starts right here on this jug. You've got like no feet, so you kind of throw a heel hook to start. And then you're gonna move up through, there's a pretty good hold there. There's a sloper. You also have holds down here underneath the ledge. You're gonna end up going up with your left hand to that side pull right there. And then the move that I keep falling on last time, which is the crux for me, I guess, is when you have that left hand uh, side pull, you have your right hand down here on an undercling and you have to cut and grab up there on the ledge, then top out. The grade, I think proposed right now is a V5, but I'm not sure the name of this problem. It's super cold and extremely windy, as you can probably hear. I have a dead cat on the microphone, but it's probably not really doing anything to the audio quality. Um, we're already here though, so I'm gonna at least give it one or two goes instead of just calling it quits. Okay, change the plans. It's way too damn cold outside to be doing this. It's like 30, 
36 degrees in the sun, but we're in the shade and the wind's just blowing up this hill and like there's no protection. You can probably hear it right now, just gusting through. Um, so I took some pictures for Mountain Project and I tried the problem. Everything's so cold, I just can't feel my fingers. So it's not gonna go down today. I'd rather save my energy for Friday when the weather's supposed to be a little nicer. But um, we're gonna pack things up and walk back and see if maybe there's a spot more sheltered from the wind. And I'll try a few easier problems to get some footage for the video. Okay, I said we were gonna go find some easier boulders, which is partly true, but it's also kind of a lie because I'm really not that good at climbing. The one that I came to is one I haven't tried before. It's a V4, it's called Classic Aret. If it'll focus. It starts down here on these handholds, and as many problems named Classic Aret do, it just follows straight up the corner right here, known as the Aret. So it should be pretty easy, the bottom section, I think. What everyone says is that that top section up there moving to the big flake jugs at the top is really quite a committing move and the only V4 move on the whole thing. So we'll see how it goes. I've never tried it before, but I'm gonna give it a couple burns. Okay guys, so I just got done trying this for the first time. As you see, I fell a bunch of times, didn't send it. It took me like two or three tries to get the bottom part figured out, but once I did, the beta for the bottom wasn't tricky. The tough thing about ret climbs, I guess, is figuring out where to put your feet for balance on the hold since your hands are really kind of moving unilaterally up the face, so it's a little bit trickier to balance. But um, what everyone told me, I guess, was true, and the top is just like the hardest part. Um, it's not too high of a fall, but with only one pad, I don't really feel super comfortable because the last move's kind of a more dynamic off balance move to a jug. And I think I can grab the hold. It's just I don't think, I don't know if I'll be able to hold the swing. And I don't want to swing and then fall unpredictably with only one spot or one pad. So I think on Friday, hopefully I'll have some more people out here with more pads and uh, I'll be able to put it down and give it a more firm, or more, a better attempt, I guess. So right now I think we're gonna start hiking out because I have to be at work at two. We're gonna hike out, go get some lunch, but I think I'll stop on the way and repeat a few, maybe one or two easier problems that I've done before, just to at least have some sins in the video. This boulder is called the Whale's Head Boulder. There's two problems on here. There's one called uh, Baleen, which is a V2 that starts right here on those two chalked up holds. And there's just one big move up to the lift. And then you top out with a mantle. And then there's another one called Krill that starts on those same two jugs and then traverses this lower lip right here and then comes up around this horn.
All right, guys, I think we're done climbing for the day. Or, well, I know we're done climbing. It's noon right now, we're about to hike out. Like I said, I have to be at work at two. Um, I wasn't able to get krill, but baleen was a flash. I was actually trying to do a little bit harder version of the top out today, just because I thought it would look cooler on video. But the move I was really struggling with was you have a heel hook right down here. If it'll focus. Have your heel hook down here and your hands are on the ledge. And then you have an under cling right here. Yep. And then I was trying to bump to this part of the lip right here. It's a good hold. And then come do the top out. Whereas the last couple times I've done it, just continue down around the lip. And then using the under cling, you just top out going around the back and up this way. So hopefully I'll be back out here. Probably give it a second to focus. Yeah, hopefully I'll be back out here on Friday with a few more friends and I'll get some extra videos, probably put this one down for sure. So we're gonna hike out now. Uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we made it back to the car. About to enjoy this delicious peanut butter and jelly sandwich that Nora made for me. But we're also going to pick up some Chinese food. So I think this is gonna conclude today's vlog. Um, I have no clue when I'm gonna put this on YouTube, but a couple days after this goes up, there'll probably be another video of our next trip going to Boulder. Today's Wednesday, and yeah, today's Wednesday, and then we're gonna go Boulder again on Friday in the same place. So look for another video after this. Thanks for watching, subscribe.